Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. I just wanted to get this video out a bit earlier than I normally do as I think we're on the verge of a big breakout in cryptocurrencies in general, but especially the big three, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. So last week we were trading above 2000 at time of recording. Um, I spoke about for long-term investors how I wasn't sure if we only had a few days left in this correction, but we're already starting to see really negative sentiment, um, guys throwing in the towel. And I said that we're getting to the point now where risk first reward for long-term holders is don't be afraid to step in. And when we get that ser terrible sentiment and guys giving up, we know the bottom's near and we often get these sharp capitulation lows. Um, we spoke about this head and shoulders pattern that we've been looking at for weeks to play out. And if it, it did play out, we'd get down in the 1800s. And sure enough, we got down there and then we saw a strong relief rally. Um, on the hourly chart, we got a nice little five-wave structure that we look for in Elliott Wave Theory off the lows. And I said that I thought the bottom was in after we, we'd had that strong move off the lows. So we then consolidated for a little bit. And then obviously, we got that cycle bracket pushing up, that really positive news. Last week, I said that I expected a monster rally, a breathtaking rally to take hold once this correction's over. And sure enough, we got that. And a few guys missed that rally. Um, my members asked me, or oh, where do you think this is going to consolidate? And I said, I don't think this is going to give much back. And I expected it to con consolidate at a really high FIB level. And sure enough, we got that. And we're seeing a nice bounce off those levels now as well. So if we just zoom into the hourly chart, I'll just show you why I believe that we're on the verge of a big move. And we see this trend line here. We've got the brackets pushing up. Um, We've got the all-time highs in, in our sites here at uh, $3,000 and a lot of guys are expecting price action not to occur on the weekends and I'm going to touch on that a little bit more at the end of this video but just for now I'll move on to Ethereum again correction was I think we we're trading around 165 at the time I spoke about that risk to reward long-term value I'd stepped in and bought more 206, 190, and again at 175. And I said I'd be really looking to get aggressive and back the truck up if we got down to 129, 128 there. And we did miss that. I did have some orders set and we missed that by a dollar. But I've said before, never be fussed if you miss the bottom. Don't kick yourself. If you ever get within 10 or 20% of the bottom, you average down, you've done well. And at long term risk to reward, we're looking at this to play out over months and years. And already we've if you stepped in and bought anywhere down here, you're already in the green. So now just on the this time frame, we've got both these brackets pushing up um, starting tomorrow. I think that's another reason we can see a strong rally in Ethereum. A lot of people are talking about other smart contract style coins. Ethereum's lost definitely lost the spotlight, and that's when I think we can see those surprise um, rallies to the upside. And if we just zoom out a bit there on the hourly time frame. We've just broken out of this wedge. We've just gone down to red test it. And I think we're going to resume to the upside strongly as we get these two brackets pushing out. Now, Litecoin's another really interesting one here. And as you see here, the Litecoin-Bitcoin ratio, we definitely got that breakdown and we got the positive news about Bitcoin. And a lot of people were obviously in Litecoin um, for those fundamental reasons due to the uncertainty. But if we go to the Litecoin chart, this long-term trend line that's been intact since $4, is, we came down, we tested it, but we didn't close below it. And again, we got this bracket pushing up and another strong move off there. And I just think there's the fundamentals behind Litecoin are still really strong. And we can see that playing out on a technical level. And again, we'll zoom into the hourly chart and we, we've just we've just broken out of this wedge again, this pennant. And I still expect Litecoin to remain strong and <clears throat> really positive signs. If we had it, if Litecoin was going to break down, it would have broken down on that fundamental news. And the fact that it stayed strong is a really good long term um, signs for me. What I'm looking at. So, just finally, I just wanted to touch on something that I've noticed. So, this is a message I sent out to members yesterday. We've started to read a lot of posts along the lines of prices go down every weekend, or I'm shorting such and such crypto this weekend. It's easy money. Whilst this has been a bit of a trend in the past, when that herd mentality t starts to take over, and I spoke about that with Bitcoin as well, and we we saw a lot of guys starting to say, "I'm gonna, I expect to be able to buy in easily on August 1st. So I'm just gonna wait for that." And I said that 
I told members that that's the mentality that when everyone's expecting something to happen, those market participants are the ones that are chasing the market higher and they missed out and they, that's what causes these really strong moves. So when that herd mentality takes over, the outcome is usually not the desired one the herd's looking for. And I said, take care if you're trading these markets this weekend because if prices start to rise, all these guys that are short this market are going to have to get out. And sure enough, we're starting to see that short squeeze. And I think we could see that play out um, over the next 24 hours as China, South Korea, Japan wake up and then tomorrow in, in the States and Europe. So just something to be aware of is I didn't want my members shorting this market and getting burnt. And I think we're starting to see that strength play out now. So exciting times. Well done to those that uh, saw out this first correction. I know a lot of my viewers have only been in the crypto space for a month or two, okay? For those of us that have been trading these markets longer than that, we have been through these cycles before. But I think we're on the verge of another strong, strong rally that could last months or even even years, obviously with corrections along the way. But for now, I think the correction's over. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.